Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and today we'll be talking about Visual Studio 2022's new feature which is still in experimental stage which is nothing but the remote testing. So this remote testing feature while they were talking about in Visual Studio 2022 launch which was kind of very interesting because this is one thing which we all were looking for for quite a long time and it is right now available in Visual Studio 2022 right now. So the, what it says is that this functionality is useful for cross-platform developers who deploy code to multiple different target environments such as different Windows or Linux operating systems. For example, normally a developer would have to push changes to a CI pipeline to get feedback from the test running on the Linux operating system. With this feature, you can run Linux test right from Visual Studio 2022 by connecting the test explorer to a remote environment. This is pretty cool. So this is available from Visual Studio 2022 update preview three or later. So if you have the latest version of Visual Studio 2022 preview, then you should be seeing this particular functionality available for you. In order to set up this remote testing within your testing environment, it is very, very simple. All you need to do is you need to have a Docker file, which actually is gonna have all the setup that you actually need for your testing to happen for example you need to have your application up and running and then you need to have your testing environments for example if you're running the selenium test then you need to have the selenium server up and running on that particular container and you need to set up everything on that particular docker file and once you have everything there so you will have an image so then you can use this test environment.json file to invoke the image that you have created and in this case they have mentioned this docker image like mcr.microsoft.com slash dot net slash core dot sdk to run one of their test and this can be your image basically like the application the selenium thing that we was talking about before you should have all those things on that particular created docker image and once you have that you can then run the test straight from the visual studio test explorer which is the cool thing about this particular remote testing feature of visual studio 2022 so let's quickly see how this actually works so all i'm going to do is i'm going to start creating a new project over here and i will show you how it actually can be leveraged so i'm going to use this x unit test project and i'm going to call this as remote debugging i'm going to choose dotnet version 5 and there we go, we have this particular Visual Studio 2022 with this particular uh, test, which is nothing but the X unit test for us over here. So this is a super simple test. And once you start trying to build this solution, you will see this particular test is gonna be shown in this particular test explorer. So every time while we run any of the test at the moment in this particular test, it is going to be running on the Windows operating system, which is nothing but this host operating system, right? But this time I'm gonna see what if I could able to run the same test on a Linux operating system. I'm not really gonna over complicating by creating a Docker file with so many setups and stuff, but this video is gonna be super simple and get started. So I'll show you how it actually can be done. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a constructor here and I'm gonna put the I test output helper which is this one test output helper and then I'm going to create an assign a field so that I can be able to access this test output helper over here so I'm just going to say test output helper dot right line of just going to say string interpolation here test is running in something like that and I'm just going to say environment dot os version dot to string something like that this is the super simple test that i have got and now if i try running this particular test over here you will see that the test has got passed and it is running on the windows nt operating system right which is nothing but this windows 10 operating system which i'm currently running my test but now i wanted to run the same test on an linux docker container so that i could able to run the same test on a Linux operating system instead of just running on the Windows operating system. If I wanted to run the same test on Linux operating system, probably I should be doing it with the WSL2 uh, by running a, or spinning a container and then doing a Docker file. I need to create a Docker file or Docker compose file, and then I need to run the test on that particular container. But if I wanted to do everything just by clicking it from here on the test explorer then this feature is going to be very very helpful so i'll show you how to do that so the first thing which i'm going to do is let me go into this particular directory which is this one and once it is here i'm going to open this in the vs code it's because that's going to be making our life more easier and then i'm going to create a new 
our docker file here and this docker file is going to hold one of our docker image which i'm probably going to be running uh, so that i could be able to address that same test to be running on that particular container when it start running it so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to the documentation which is shown as over here i'm not going to be ashamed of copying this from here i'm just going to copy this whole uh, docker file details i'm going to paste it over here i'm going to save it and then I also need to create one more file, which is nothing but the test environment.json file. And this is the file which is very important to really understand like how it actually works. So basically this JSON file actually starts with version one at the moment. I think Microsoft has a plan to improve that even further with more advancement later on. So this is version one at the moment, something like this. And then they call this as environments. And this is basically like an array type. And this environments is where you're going to place different environments, basically. So, for example, you can give a name for this environment. And I'm going to call this as maybe you've been to, uh, yeah, something like that. And then if I wanted to uh, give a type at the moment, the type they support is like Docker as well as WSL. If you have WSL2 enabled within your machine, you can give the type as Docker or WSL. And I'm going to choose the Docker over here. And then I need to specify the Docker image. And this image is nothing but the image which I'm going to be building from this particular Docker file that I have. So I'm just going to use the same registry to start creating a Docker file. But the file name or the Docker file name that I'm going to be giving while I'm going to uh, run this particular Docker file is going to be this one. So this is the image name which I'm going to be creating locally within my machine. So that's it. This is the only one thing which I'm going to be doing. But if you wanted to uh, do something like a WSL2, if you wanted to have that information within your machine, you can do that as well. Something like this. See, WSL Ubuntu, and then you can give the type as WSL and WSL distribution as Ubuntu over here. So this is something you can do it as well. It's again up to you, like how you really wanted to uh, run your uh, test on which environments so these are the two ways that you could able to run that apart from your host windows operating system and once i have this i then can start running my test using this environment using the visual studio 2022 explorer but we need this particular docker image right i mean i have already built within my machine so if i open the terminal i can show you what i really mean so if i just show my images over here you will see that i already have an image something like the docker core dotnet core sdk 3.1 right this is the image that i have i have built already so that i can refer the same docker image which i have built pretty much referring to this particular docker file using this particular sdk right so these are going to be pretty much exactly the same thing i already have and now if you try to go to the visual Studio 2022 over here you will see that there is no change at all i mean it looks pretty much exactly the same there is not going to be any way that you can run the test on different environments so where do you specify that it is not going to work i mean i couldn't able to figure out like how and where this particular file is to be sitting basically for the first time well the problem was actually instead of putting your files or the docker file and the test environment.json file on the project level you should be putting these two files on the solution level which is going to be over here so once you do these two files i mean once you put these two files on this particular level you will see that the test explorer is currently running by itself there was some loading happened and let me just scroll this a bit over here you will see that there is going to be a new option coming up for you something like local windows environments by default and then you will have this ubuntu and the wsl ubuntu which is the two environments that we set in our vs code over here i mean these two files are right now moved that's why it's saying deleted but it is actually sitting which we already know right so now if i wanted to run this particular test let's see what's going to happen so if i go to the docker for windows so this is my docker for windows which is currently running no container at the moment and now i have chosen the environment as let's say ubuntu over here and now if i'm going to run the test you will see that once i started running the test it is running this dotnet core sdk image and it's going to run them as a container within this particular docker for windows and the test execution has been i guess it is completed so let's see what has happened no it has not so it first discovered that which is weird uh let me run this again i think by this time the test has to run yeah the test has been successfully completed running uh and the uh, 
container is still running i think it will be deleted later on after some time and then you will see that the test is currently running on the unix operating system instead of the windows operating system so now we saw that we can run the windows operating system and ubuntu operating system and if you have enabled the wsl2 within your machine you could also run the same test on the wsl2 as well i mean this way it is going to be very faster because you need to have your wsl with all the ubuntu from the windows store to be installed at the same time you need to enable the wsl2 in your docker for windows if you set up everything it will start running i mean i mean i have not done anything in my machine it is going to not run at the moment but this is how you need to set up as well so this is the way that you could run the test on the linux operating system straight away from visual studio 2022 using the remote debugging feature of visual studio 2022 once again thank you for watching this video and you guys have a great day